Hello, hi everyone, welcome to this Amazon Live. My name is Tanisha and I'm a tea-based blogger. Um, in fact, I read my own blog. Uh, you can go find me on my Instagram, TikTok, YouTube channel, and my website. We go by the name of Chai Struck. Um, and a cool way to remember this is it's basically love struck with chai. So chai struck, go follow me um, and say and drop a little hi. I would love to have you there. I am taking a little break from chai struck just for a little bit longer because I'm working on this like really cool project behind the scenes that I'm really excited for. Uh, but I kind of need to like you know step back, drink some tea, uh, and just like work on that, like focus on that. Um, and I think breaks are always a really good idea and tea is a really good idea a really good thing that goes with your breaks they can really enhance um, your rejuvenation which we hope to get from breaks anyways uh, so that's a little bit about me and I'm so excited today to be exploring these teas by Vedam um, Vedam has been a really great um, company in terms of like their ethical standards because they have their own charity called teach me where one person of their funds uh, sorry revenue go into educating kids of tea farmers and they're also plastic neutral and carbon neutral which is great for the environment uh, we won't be exploring any tea bags today but um, I know with tea bags that's usually a concern like the environmental concern but don't worry with weight um I mean I guess like loose tape is always better <laughs> regardless but the fact that they are um, climate and plastic neutral that's pretty awesome and maybe in the future they can become climate and carbon positive how cool would that be anyways uh with that said let's dive right in and let's see what we have in store today um, i feel like these teas would be amazing for fall as the weather gets cooler the days get a little shorter and even like the spookiness and the eeriness and all the charm of fall um, surrounds us so let's get into it so the first tea that we're gonna look at, well, <laughs> I kind of just wanna have this. That's what I'm gonna look into it first. Um, it's the turmeric ashwagandha latte mix. This is what it looks like. Actually, I might not have this. I might have something else. Oh, uh, we'll see. We'll see. I'm just checking to see if I have my brother here. Um, so turmeric ashwagandha um, latte mix. It's a, it's a golden milk powder. It's an adaptogenic exhaler. Elixir, sorry, um, it has 14 servings. Um, I feel like this can is a, it's really handy. Like, you know, it's such a pretty can. And when you open it up, you also have like this little tin foil in here. Well, right, so it's extra fresh, which is pretty awesome. Mm, it smells so minty and very fresh. If you look at it, it's this like lovely yellow fine powder. Um, so this isn't, um, instant latte mix which is awesome but when you look at it like when you look at the ingredients it's really really healthy so what do we have in here okay so you have turmeric ashwagandha mint black pepper ginger and stevia that's it so this is completely herbal i feel like this is something kids can have or you can have later on in the day if you don't want to have caffeine and it's sweetened with stevia so if you're doing like intermittent fasting or whatever it won't break your fast you know if insulin and all that is something you watch out for nothing to worry about in here which i think is awesome and a little story behind this so when i went to toronto uh, back in may i took this with me and my dad he tried it and he absolutely fell in love and let me tell you my dad is the type of guy <laughs> like he's very picky in the sense that like he doesn't like to step out of his comfort zone when it comes to food he's like this is what i've been eating forever this is what i want i don't care about trying new things um in that sense you know what i mean if your dad's like that if you can relate let me know in the comments um and i'll because of that i find it really really hard to like get him anything for father's day or birthday because he's just a really practical guy like with my mom she's so easy to impress just get her a purse get her like a cute top or a dress like she'll be she'll be good but my dad, he liked this. He liked it so much. Uh, and now I know going forward, um, I can actually have him, like, you know, gift him this for like Father's Day, birthday, Christmas, whatever, because 
this has eased me <laughs> so much. And then the best thing is like when anyone drinks this, like especially your parents, you know they're drinking something that's really healthy for them. So you can, you feel good, like it's the best of both worlds. It tastes good, it's healthy, it's something you can have every single day because looking at those ingredients, they're all like superfoods kind of thing. In fact, it also has a little blurb about the benefits of turmeric. So let's read that as well. So it says, turmeric is widely known for its medicinal and adaptogenic benefits. The main active ingredient in turmeric, curcumin, is responsible for its multiple life-enhancing properties. Okay there. Um, weight of turmeric golden milk powder is blended with superfood ingredients, including black pepper, which is proven to increase curcumin's absorption significantly. So what I get from that is, okay, that life-enhancing property is kind of funny. <laughs> uh, whatever, that was cool, poetic. But when you have turmeric with um, black pepper, it increases the absorption of curcumin from the turmeric into your bloodstreams and really like, you know, ups the benefits even further. And I feel like they've done a lot of that here. All the ingredients in here are super healthy. Um, and over here also it like, goes over how it's like climate neutral, uh, plastic neutral, their Teach Me initiative, all that good stuff. And oh, it's also like USD organic and a few more certifications that you can see over here on the site. So it's definitely a very high quality and a really, really great drink to have. Um, I know lattes normally have this like really bad rap, like they're very indulgent and calorie dense, you know, like, but this one is nutrient dense. There is like literally zero calories in it and it has like nice organic ingredients. So definitely a great thing to have in every like in your pantry or your parents or anyone's um and you can actually have this it mentions over here with nut milk smoothies oat milk yogurt um i usually have this with like regular dairy milk and that's my favorite way of having it it's so delicious with milk i can't yeah i can't stress that enough especially like on a hot summer day like having this with like nice chilled milk oh my god it's so good because it has minty flavors in it. It just like really cools you down in that sense. Um, and it just says like add one teaspoon to hot or cold milk, blend it well. For vegan, add nut milk. For iced latte, chill and add ice. It can also be served with water. Um, and I was thinking of having it with water right now, but I feel like I can just have something else instead because I have this pretty often. So we can try something else in our little mix. And if not, we can come back to this why not all right so um yeah so turmeric ashwagandha latte mix is like one that i can confidently say is amazing if you're thinking of getting it i would highly 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 recommend um so to contrast that a little bit um so you know i'm super honest when i'm here and i think that's what they want <laughs> to review so like to contrast that amazingness of that we have the matcha green tea with vanilla now why do i say that it contrasts this well the reason for that is that well they're both lattes or they can both be turned into lattes which is great this has like amazing ingredients in it right um zero calories how you can have it any time of day this is matcha which sounds amazing vanilla sounds amazing but when you look at the back one serving has 409 calories and like for me that's a bit much especially considering that um the ingredients are just green tea powder and vanilla powder and i didn't realize until i came across this that vanilla could have so many calories like that's a lot in one teaspoon having said that if that's not a concern for you no oh, it smells so delicious it has that like matcha flavor you know like almost borderline fishiness um, but then also the sweetness of vanilla and the, together they're just like magic if you look at it um it's this vibrant green color it's super gorgeous and when it comes to matcha actually the more vibrant or the brighter the greenest the better it is um so yeah i think this uh pairing or uh, like you know, the matcha vanilla is definitely unique my only concern here is the calorie count but other than that it tastes really good 
Um, their matcha is sourced from Japan, um, which is basically like where matcha is made. In fact, there's a really interesting history of how Japanese monks, when they went to China to like learn the teachings of like, you know, like learn meditation and that spirituality and all of that, when they came back to Japan, one of the things they brought with them with these teachings was tea. And like literally tea plant, how to cultivate it, how to drink it, and how to make it a part of their sp spiritual practice. Um, and then um, their tea practice sort of evolved and matcha was born. And today, Japan actually has their own um, green tea ceremony. Um, not green tea, but like a tea ceremony, which is very holy, it's very sacred. It's done by a tea master, like there's a proper way of doing it. Um, I've never been to one, but if you watch it on YouTube, it looks absolutely divine and it's like a huge part of their spirituality. So it's really great how tea can just like fit there and matcha is one of those things. The matcha they use for their ceremonies though is a ceremonial grade. The one over here is a classic culinary grade. So culinary grade is supposed to be like a little inferior than ceremonial grade, but it's the one that's used to, you know, for smoothies and all that stuff. So it's not a bad thing, but like I'm just telling you if you notice a difference, like, oh, so what's the difference between ceremonial and culinary? That's sort of like the broad idea. Um, it says help boost metabolism and focus with antioxidants. So yeah, with matcha, it's the only tea that you actually drink where you consume the leaves as well. But the other teas, you steep it in water and then you just have that liquid, right? So that's pretty awesome. But once again, uh, 409 calories, that's, that's a bit much for me. Uh, but it does taste really good though, so. Then um, over here, they also have a matcha green tea powder, which is 100% pure Japanese matcha. You can mix it, whisk it until it's frothy. Um, that's what it says, all these things in the front. I'm actually curious about this one. So, yeah, so it looks very, very, very similar to um, the matcha vanilla because it's that vibrant green color, uh, but obviously like, in terms of aroma and stuff, that vanilla is missing because this is just pure uh, matcha. And it doesn't really tell you the calories on the side, so I'm gonna assume it's like barely any calories. So this is the one I wanna try having. Um, now, I'm gonna have to admit that I am not a matcha expert at all, but we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna see. We're gonna do what we can do. Because I've been curious. So I don't even have that like proper bowl and the whisker thing that they use for matcha, if you know what I mean. It's like a little brush. So I'm just gonna add one teaspoon of it in this cup. It's this lovely green color. Mm. Ma like the aroma of matcha is like if you know you know <laughs> that's what i smell i know that's super helpful <laughs> um okay so it says one teaspoon and 150 mils of water which is between 80 to 90 degrees and you can mix it whisk it until it's frothy okay so um, 150 mils of water okay well let's do this Okay, our water is actually right at temperature, so let's add a bit. I feel like I should have measured it. Okay, we're gonna just, it's always easier to add more water than to reduce the water. I'm just gonna use this little frother guy here. That matcha aroma is really coming through. It almost smells fishy to me. <laughs> I feel like now that like fall is just around the corner, matcha lattes, chai, 
All these things are just gonna be so big and I'm here for it. Sweater season is the coziest of the best season. Okay, that looks pretty frothy to me. Right? Okay, we're just gonna leave it at that for now. I am too excited to try this out. Okay? The aroma is a little bit fishy. It's like very typical of a matcha. Mm. I feel like adding a little bit of honey to this would be amazing. I'm not gonna do it right now, I don't have it handy, but it's good, it tastes good. It's like a little bit bitter. It's a little stronger than just like steeped green tea leaves and that makes sense because I'm literally drinking the powder here and not just steeped leaves. But I'm loving the texture, that's for sure. Um, that frothy texture is amazing. Yeah, I guess like next time we can actually just turn this into a latte. We can add milk and some sweetener. But it's not bad, it's pretty good actually. <laughs> I'm excited to get like focused energy now. Yeah. <clears throat> Matcha is one of those things that like, <coughs> excuse me, you have to give it some time to grow on you um, or you love it or hate it. I think it's like sushi. Like after one point you just like love it. <laughs> it's such an awesome thing. But initially, if you're not really into it, it could take some time to grow in, you know, grow on you. But then they also have so many matcha desserts, or even like this matcha vanilla tea, which is like almost like a dessert that you can start off with. Uh, I mean, Radom doesn't have matcha dessert. I'm just saying, like, out in other stores, they have matcha desserts. If you want to get something from Radom, you can try this matcha vanilla if you're okay with the sweetness. I, I like this much up. I mean, I finished the whole thing. It was pretty good. Yeah. All right. Um, so talking about matcha, the last we're going to look at today is their matcha lemongrass instant latte mix. Now this is completely different than their other matchas because it is a latte. It's an instant latte. Um, it actually has coconut milk in it. So those flavors, like if you know anything about coconut, it's a nice strong flavor. And even when you smell it, like the dominant flavor here is coconut for me and the secondary flavor is matcha. I can't even smell the matcha to be honest, but you can see it. Oh, and it also comes with this handy little scoopity scoop, which is pretty awesome. And here, you can see that gorgeous vibrant green color of matcha, which is really great. But in terms of aroma, <coughs> it's all coconut milk. Um, and then there are other ingredients in here as well. So there is coconut milk powder, raw cane sugar, matcha, lemongrass. <coughs> Excuse me. Matcha, lemongrass, black tea, black pepper, stevia, and tea spices. So there's quite a bit going on. Matcha is like part of this latte, you know, but then there, <laughs> there are a bunch of different things as well. There's like black tea as well, tea spices as well. Um, rocking sugar, lemongrass. Um, so even though there's sugar in here and there are 45 calories in one scoop of this, which is like a lot more reasonable than 409 <laughs> in this. I mean, I wonder if that's a typo, I don't know. But it does say that it's keto and paleo friendly. So I guess maybe the rocking sugar is very little, I don't know. Um, and once again, it's also USD organic and some other certifications, so all that is good. And you literally just add one scoop um, in a cup, you add hot water, and you mix it well. Uh, <laughs> I 
I don't know what else to say. I think it's vegan. Yeah, because coconut milk powder, right? So that's vegan. So yeah, this is a very handy little um, latte. It's lightly sweetened. Um, I'm not gonna have it right now because caffeine, evening time. <laughs> but yeah, and I feel like with this, I would just not use the whole scoop for one cup. I would use like maybe three quarters of the scoop just because it incorporates much better. Now along the same line, we have the cardamom chai um, instant latte. They actually have three of these. There's one more. I'll show that to you after, but they're very similar. It's their lines of instant lattes. Um, they're all Ziploc bags, so that's really handy. Um, with the cardamom chai, um, the ingredients are coconut milk powder, black tea, raw cane sugar, stevia, cardamom, and MCT oil powder. Um, once again, just add a scoop and hot water, and you're good to go. 45 calories. Oh my gosh, this aroma rem literally reminds me of Indian sweets because I think cardamom and coconut are like a huge part in Indian sweets. And this smells just like that. So if you look at it, it's this like fine brown powder. Once again, there's a scoop with this as well. So if you're traveling, if you're in a hotel and you feel like you're not gonna have like access to tea coffee for a long time, I don't know why you wouldn't, but anyways, I feel like this is something you can easily just pack with you because I'm sure, or I hope you'll get hot water at least. And to me, it tastes really well, uh, good. It obviously doesn't taste like stove top chai, but it's not supposed to, right? Like it doesn't have dairy milk, it has coconut milk, which has its own strong flavors, but really good flavors. And I think coconut milk goes really, really well um, with the uh, cardamom here. So I'm personally a huge fan. Um, yeah, it's like a delicious little latte. And I think especially with the cooler season, um, I definitely love soups, I love lattes, all that good stuff. And then the final one, which I couldn't hold before, is this, their turmeric ginger latte. Actually, I can show it to you like that. So yeah, these three latte mixes are very handy. Um, they're all blended with the coconut milk powder. So it has coconut milk powder, turmeric, raw cane sugar, ginger, black tea, tea spices, and stevia. So I think more or less the ingredients stay the same, but like, you know, the turmeric ginger changes, the matcha lemongrass changes, and then like the cardamom changes. Everything else, like in terms of like tea spices, stevia, raw cane sugar, coconut milk, um, black tea, all of that just stays constant. This also has 45 calories. Um, and any guesses on what the color would be of this turmeric ginger? Of course, it's this gorgeous golden or yellow color. Very pretty. Yeah, so over here, I feel like the aromas and the flavor is a little different because turmeric and ginger are kind of like stronger flavors compared to cardamom. So the coconut um, flavor here is a little toned down compared to the turmeric and the ginger flavor <clears throat> but overall this is a really nice latte as well um you know a nice little pick me up uh, any time of day um yeah i feel like these lattes are really creative they're healthy they do have caffeine they do have some sugar but not too much and i think stevia is the main component of sugar um so yeah these are like nice lattes for fall and for winter um, cause yeah, just add hot water to it and you're good to go. Um, and I think that's all we had to explore today. Um, do you guys have any questions? You can let me know. If not, I guess we're ready to wrap it up. All right. Well, I hope you guys have an amazing Sunday. Oh my God. It's end of week already. Well, I think I'm a little, okay. I shouldn't say I'm lucky. But I do have Monday off because of the Queen's passing. Um, the federal government here in Canada has given Monday off and I work for the government. Oh, that feels really cool to say I work for the government. I don't. I work for a non-for-profit, which is like on a national level or federal level. So yeah, I do have Monday off. So yeah, I am I'm grateful for that. But obviously like there's so much involved with the, the Queen's passing maybe a conversation for another day. But regardless, I hope you guys have an amazing 
rest of Sunday and a lovely week ahead. I'll see you guys again very, very soon.